Welcome to the Identiv Primus and Enerphone Quick Tip Video Training Series. This video demonstrates how to set up a Primus encryption bridge on your network. Let's get started. Open the box and unpack the Primus encryption bridge and its connectors, supervision resistors, diode, and installation guide. You will need to supply one Cat5 RJ45 standard network patch cable, PoE network switch, or a 12 to 16 volt DC power supply, and a non-PoE switch. For this demonstration, we are using a PoE network switch. Connect the Cat5 RJ45 standard network patch cable to the Primus encryption bridge and the PoE network switch. Note, the ready green LED on the Primus encryption bridge will begin to blink at this point. We will be using a Primus cube that we set up in a previous Identif Quick Tip video. The cube is connected to the same network switch the new Primus encryption bridge is connected to. Log into the Primus cube. Select System from the top menu. Then, from the left side menu, select Utilities, Bridge Utility. Notice the Primus encryption bridge is already listed. Click the MAC address of the Primus encryption bridge and the Primus bridge configuration is displayed. Select each box in the network section and set the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway for the network that the Primus encryption bridge is connected to. If that network supports DHCP, you can alternatively choose that checkbox. For this demonstration, we are using a static IP address of 192.168.1.206 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and a gateway of 192.168.1.1.1. In the primary server IP, enter the IP address of the Primus cube which, for this demonstration, is 192.168.1.205. In the secondary server IP address, enter 0.0.0.0. .0 the tertiary server is also to be set at 0.0.0.0. .0. Check the Save and Add Device to Primus checkbox, and then click Save. Add Primus Device page is displayed. Enter a name for this device. The name field is limited to 25 characters. We will use Main Entry and then click Save. Note, the ready green LED on the Primus encryption bridge turns on constantly, indicating that it is online with the Primus cube. The View Edit Device page is displayed, where the name used for the reader Relay, LED, Buzzer slash LED1, Supervised Input 1, and Supervised Input 2 descriptions may be edited for better recognition in larger installations. Following any changes, please click Save. Select Devices from the left side menu and notice the Primus encryption bridge is listed in the device's main list and the far left column is blank, indicating that the Primus encryption bridge is online and communicating with the Primus cube. If the Primus encryption bridge loses communication with the Primus cube, an error indicator is displayed in the far left column. Congratulations! You have now set up a Primus encryption bridge.